What it do, homies? It's your boy Dave, and I'm back today. We back here with some more pentatonics. This time we're checking out Evolution of Rihanna, and it looks like I wonder if this is the first evolution of their series that they've done where Matt is here instead of Avi. I'm not really too sure, uh, but let's go ahead and shut up and turn it up. Rihanna is goaded and iconic. We about to get something special here. I already know it. When the sun shines, we'll shine together. Told you I'll be here forever. Said I'll always be your friend. You can stand under my umbrella. Ella. Ella. Eh, come Mr. DJ, some pottery play. Look, man, I don't know much about Matt outside of some of the stuff that um I've heard. Um, but I'm I'm pretty sure a whole lot of you agree that he is an excellent kind of replacement for Avi because the way and, and if I didn't know I know now the way that, that the way that he kind of came in with that smooth term, ever like excuse me Ella, Ella, Ella. The harmony. So one thing that's interesting about this is that that um what is it Ponderipe is what it is? Yeah, pun no, not Ponderipe. But this song right here, it I didn't really necessarily know that it had much of a swing to it, right? It's like uh, it's like is there a, is there another element in the song? It's not Ponder Replay, but is there another element that's missing? But I love the swing, or did they add the swing? Because it sounds like it's been there all the time, but has it? <laughs> Godly transitions. Beautiful. So, so right here, this song right here, well, um, Umbrella, because I feel like at the beginning of Rihanna's career that she didn't really know which direction she was going to go. She kind of gave us these kind of dance things and everything. But when Umbrella came out, right? When Umbrella came out, I think that was the biggest change in Rihanna's thing. Like, I feel like that was when a whole lot of people started taking Rihanna, like, very, very seriously because Umbrella was a banger, stuff that's still sung to this day. And then everything that she released after that had had a somewhat of a of a style, of a of a sense. So I, I didn't mean to take away from, uh, you know, Pentatonix's performance, but I just want to dive into, you know, the evolution of Rihanna. <laughs> Not song format, but from an artist standpoint, because I think that's when she really started to shine after Umbrella. Because we all know of her other songs. I've been, I've heard every the, the very, very not the very, very beginning, the very first songs of the mainstream. I was a kid, and was like, yeah, she's pretty cool. But then Umbrella came out, we was just like, yo, this is something completely different. It wasn't dance, it wasn't anything like that. It was slow. It really kind of showcased her abilities as a singer. And then we already know the rest is history. Okay, let's keep it going. <laughs> This song too, yeah. So many bangers. Okay, I'll recount back what I said about, you know, dance, you know, um, um, dance tracks. She obviously still made dance tracks after Umbrella. Um, but I but I still stand on the fact that her sound didn't really start to take shape until after Umbrella. Okay. Again, these transitions, I think these are the one of the most best gems. 
when it comes to these evolutions that Pentatonix put on for us. Take it, take it, baby, baby, take it, take it, love me, love me. Uh, make you feel uh, like uh, you're the uh, only uh, girl uh, in the world. Uh, like you're the uh, only uh, one. Come on, Matt. The harmonies that they chose for that is different than the original. Oh, yeah, it is. Um, as a matter of fact, I don't think the original track had much harmony, right? It was, dun, dun. you know, you kind of had that, like that Jamaican kind of steel drum going on in the background, or at least I think so. Uh, but the harmonies went there. Uh, like it is here, so I love that inclusion. Just gonna stand there and watch me burn. That's alright because I love the way you lie. In my California, keep it. We run Okay, Scott. Every video, if Mitch is in it, we getting slapped. You're the one that I dream about all day. You're the one mm. that I think about always. You are the one, so I make sure My love is your love. Your love okay. is your love. Is that's just the thing about their transitions that I for the most part I was like, yo, what song is this? But then as they started repeating it, your love is your love is my love. I was like, what? Again, transitioning and cheers to the freaking weekend out there. There's the wall of sound. You know we need an encore with that one. The freaking weekend out there. Wall of sound. Excuse me, cursed, cursed, what? Excuse me? One more time, one more time. that Mitch cleared that whoa, whoa. and then I'm sitting here thinking how would you even how would you even harmonize that part See, that's that's the masterful stuff man it's those details like that where they insert harmonies in places that don't have harmonies right it's what makes them masters in a crap and we all know that each and every individual each and every one of them are capable of doing masterful stuff on their own this this is literally a, 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 a an acapella group full of superhumans they are all every single one of superhumans and that's that's rare Money, baby, this is what you came for. Lightning strikes every time she knows. Matt's doing a good job. <laughs> She's looking at you. I'm too good for you. I'm way too good for you. You think my love. Okay, Scott. I just don't understand it. Kevin, the big box. Have you lurking? Am I gonna you 
wrap this performance up. That's all I needed to hear. That's that's neat. And they not not only did they not only did they do it again, but they harmonized it and then they done chopped it up and gave us something. One more time, y'all don't mind. Okay. You know I told you it was you. Boxing. Beautiful. And you got me, let it go. What you want from me? What you want from me? And I try to buy a pretty eye with the price to I like that little singing. Wow, wow, what? I pulled up with the lemon. <laughs> I like that rod. The texture of the rod that he's doing. Look at This 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 might be this might be one of the best. I don't know. Just that part where you needed me, the way that Mitch came in, and that wasn't even a slap. Like sometimes Mitch just comes through, and um, and you can't you can't say it's a slap. It's like it's it's got some elemental properties to it. You know, it ain't just a regular slap. It's like a fire slap or a thunder slap. You know what I mean? Where a slap is where he's performing within expectations, which we which we know, you know, his he he says he sets the bar high, like really, really high. So and when he meets that bar every time, that's a slap. Now when he exceeds it, that's when it has elemental properties, right? And elemental it's got it has one of the elements, earth, wind, fire, ground or and I already say ground, but you know what I mean. Sometimes he just balls it all up in one and just delivers an exception super super effective kind of slap and that's what that was when he was kind of going down the scale okay not a pitch not a pitch issue in sight and then they all came together and said you know what we got something better for you and they chopped it up a little bit and added the harmonies like it was nothing come on now who out here doing it like come on now mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, y'all. That's the end of this video. If you enjoyed the content, leave a like and subscribe. Dave's out.